Megan McCain blocks Tara Sedemeyer from being on The View. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. So as you guys recall, The View has co-hosts every now and then. And this was actually before Abby Huntsman was on the show. And I do recall Tara Sedemeyer being on The View with Megan McCain and they had this little spat on the show. So I'm going to enter this clip and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The cult that way. But That's when I said that before. Please stop words. saying that. Please no, stop I'm not going to stop saying because that. Because I know a lot of people, people want to Let me explain. It's why I you say that. You said that the last time I you're here. It's so reductive to it. people like it's me. It's not. And not everyone, but there's a large group of people who blindly follow there's what this man says are, that don't think for themselves, where he actually can get away with saying things on, on tape and turn around and say this is fake news now. That is a cult. Listen. That's a cult. Listen. I didn't know. Are you a Trump supporter? No, I never I, heard I that. I defend his supporters because oh. I understand it. Like I said yesterday with mm -hmm. the book that I asked everyone to read it, I think yeah. when you're putting a giant swath of people that everybody's been brainwashed and we're all in a cult, I didn't vote for didn't Trump for everyone. personal reasons. You said it last time you were on the show. Yes. And again, I and do I think by. there's some... Okay, so as a conservative, you're yep. mad at what's happening on the Supreme Court and the two Supreme Court choices. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think undermining democratic institutions, norms, and but ideals to have two. someone like this who's dishonest and unfit to be president... Is worth it. No, I don't. I don't. Listen, it's, it's, listen. I so enjoy the Republican never Trump, or Republican but then, crime. Uh, I said it is Republican or Republican crime. Because, I, I, think, because I think if you're ignoring what's happening in the party and you're ignoring what's happening traditional conservatism and you're constantly criticizing every Trump supporter, every person who held their teeth mm -hmm. and thought it was actually, as someone who's hyper pro life, it was important to me to have two people on the I mean, one, I thought, but two, now we're lucky to have it. So the idea that you're just sitting here and saying everyone who supports That's Trump is in I a said. cult. I say everyone. So I never said himself. everyone. The fact that I he's going large around, Boy, the but, fact that but, he's but, going but, around but, making enemies Trump everywhere, has like destroying alliances, doesn't bother you. So eighty-nine percent of the Republican Party are in a cult. Um, the ones who, Possibly. the ones who, oh, no, the no. ones who are, uh, who are willing to um, speak out and criticize him when he deserves it, okay, fine. But there's a large group, including a lot of members of Congress, who have completely sold their principles down the river. They are hi hi hypocrites. Hypocrites. They want to stay in power. Yes, they want to stay in power. And is it and worth, okay. is it worth staying in power? I don't think it is. And I've said this before. It, it believe me, it tears me apart as a lifelong conservative who has worked on the front right. lines of conservatism. To see the party and conservatism well, be Tara, this which way, do you but they believe, need to be held Would you leave the Republican Party over this? Why have the reason you left I haven't left? Because, because I, I feel like yeah, there needs to be people. Left the party no, then? because I feel there needs to be people. Awful. I still believe that the conservative principles are are true. Just the infallibility of the messengers is what's killing. There's there's you a lot of people like Steve Schmidt who have people that are willing there to fight for it. So there are a lot of people like Steve Schmidt that are saying, "I can't do it anymore. I'm a Democrat." I will say there's still principles that are true. Well, I'm just going to say, yes, great. Different. I think there's a divide that we've seen over and over with Republicans. There are a lot of people that have conservative ideals that say, at what point am I giving up my humanity yeah, and for will this? I give up power. Because the fact right. they are. No, but, right. but there is so, I'm sorry. Let me say something, Sarah. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because that talk Trump, that what I was just saying about Walmart I'm just people, trying to say, well, I need to say what I'm sorry. Because we're sitting here. So I, as you can see, Tara Sotomayor is a conservative. She's a Republican, just like Meg McCain. However, the two have very strong disbeliefs when it comes to Trump. Tara Sotomayor is not an avid supporter uh, as Trump as Meg McCain is. And just recently, Tara Sotomayor was at a summit and she described uh, Trump supporters being someone from a cult. And Meg McCain and her husband, Ben Dominic, heard about this. And Ben Dominic basically tweeted out saying that um, Tara Sotomayor will basically do anything as long as she's being paid for. And Megan McCain also tweeted saying that, hey, Tara Sotomayor, I haven't done, uh, you know, S-H-I-T to you. So she doesn't know why Tara is being mean to her. Here, here's Megan McCain being the victim. I mean, the girl basically mocked her on the show for being conservative and for having a different voice than she has. Just because you're a conservative, that doesn't mean you should uh, believe and agree to every single thing that another conservative um, thinks. And this is exactly the reason why Meghan McCain and Anna Navarro do not get along because Meghan feels that everybody should agree with her if they are a part of her party. So basically, and this makes me just angry, uh, Meghan McCain allegedly blocked 
Tara Sinemeyer for being on The View as a co-host because of this. And ABC is just agreeing with her. They're agreeing with her. You know, as you guys know, Megan McCain uh, allegedly brought on Abby Huntsman on, on the show as a co-host. And she stayed on, you know, for some time. And now she has the audacity to have the power to block this girl on The View because she disagrees with her. Now, this this really does makes me feel angry because this girl is the emptomy of white privilege. White privilege, point blank, period. And it just pisses me off that, you know, she has this power to do this type of thing on a show. And when you bring in money, when you bring in ratings, money walks, talks, and sings, that's just a phrase that I always use. And I firmly believe that, you know, Meghan McCain and her husband are just like losers in hell, like pretty much losers in hell. And Meghan McCain and this girl do not get along, like I said before. And basically, I agree with her. I do feel like no matter what this man does in the White House, no matter what Trump does in the White House, his fans are going to stick with him. It's like, you know, Rihanna can't do no wrong. Beyonce can't do no wrong. Nicki Minaj can't do no wrong. No matter what they do, there's going to be the beehive. There's going to be the fans of Nicki Minaj. Is going, you know, they're going to stick around. And that's just kind of the following that this man has because he is a celebrity first before a politician. And it's insane that people stick around with him. And it is a cult. And I strongly agree with her, with, with, with what she said. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Meghan McCain has the right or has the power to ban a co-host on The View? Pisses me off when I even ask that question. Let me know in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload juices. Yeah.